Hey, hello everyone. How are you today? All excited for another live here on Essential Stencil page. Uh, let me just refresh this page here and just make sure our lives all going. And while everyone's joining in, when you pop on, just let me know in the comments where you're from, what's the weather like. I'm here from sunny Queensland in Australia, just south of Brisbane in a little suburb called Heritage Park. And um, it's kind of warm today, as it has been all this week. We had a storm last night. Anyway, yesterday I went live over on my page. So I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff, and my name's Sharon. And if you saw my page yesterday, if anyone, any of you popped over there, I started prepping my items for the thrift store challenge this week. So um, you'll be able to see that if there's any questions about the paints I've, or things that I've used here um, on these items that I'm about to show you, then, um, yep, we've got lots of people watching. Hey, Beth. Mm -hmm. Hi, Celia. <laughs> Celia's behind the camera, but she's also watching on her page, on her phone. Um, she's helping me today. Uh, so yeah, that's great. Wisconsin sounds just wonderful to me right now. It's really, we're melting over here. Yeah. Send the snow vibes. We'll be feeling them. All right, so uh, yesterday, as I said, I went live over on my page on I Restore Stuff. You'll find me there. And you'll be able to see where I've started painting and prepping these pieces. And you might be able to see some before looks of what they looked like before. Actually, I could probably, oh, I don't know how I'm going to show you that now. I can't. Um, but it, just imagine. All right. So here's one of the things that I found at the thrift store this week. The other place that you'll see some of my thrift store finds, I love to go op shopping. We call it here in Australia. We call them op shops, short for opportunity shop and their charity stores, thrift stores, wherever you are in the world, whatever you call them, it's all the secondhand stuff that people are getting rid of, all the junk that's now my treasure because we can um, always reuse and repurpose, recycle. Therapeutic sometimes, painting, I find that fun. So here is just a tissue box holder, cover, and it's just pine, raw pine, wood well actually it did have a bit of a golden varnish they didn't varnish the inside but imagine this golden pine look and yesterday on my page on my live i showed you how to create a stain using this mustard seeds milk paint that's the color typewriter and i used that to just create a stain to give it a darkish look over there so i'll be stenciling on that today isn't that a lot i think it's a lot better than the golden pine look here's something else i found i found this seagrass basket it looks like this all over and I thought I can have a go at stenciling that. So we've got, I've put, still got my tape on it. I'll take that off now. So yesterday I went live on my page over at I Restore Stuff and I painted all of this in a lovely off-white color called Champlain. It's a fusion color and oop, got some on me. And I painted that, just used masking tape to mask off. So let's see how that turned out for a start. So then you can make a nice crisp line there. And that's going to be ready for my thrift store challenge stenciling today. So guys, if you haven't already heard and have been watching, if you haven't seen the other ambassadors doing their thrift store challenge, go check out Amanda's and Melissa. They've done one this week so far on their lives here on the Essential Stencil page in the video section or just kind of scroll back and you'll see. Here's another thing I found at our op shop. Now this was just all wooden and it was a toy box that actually had these little numbers stuck on each side. So there was a one on one side, a two on the other side, a three and a four. And so I carefully removed those. You can watch my Instagram stories. I've got a little highlights button at the top of my Instagram stories uh, called thrift stencil, something like that. And if you go to those highlights, I'll show you all of these in their original state, how I found them in the thrift store and what they looked like before. So I removed those. It had a bit of glue gun glue on it. So I had to sand that back right down. And now I've painted it in this gorgeous blue, which will make a lovely, there you go. That's what the actual wood looks like in here. Um, that might be a courier. Yes. Celia is going to go find what the courier is bringing today. Um, so I've painted it in this beautiful color, Little Whale, which is a lovely pale blue. It'd make a great toy box or a little box for towels in the bathroom, something like that. 
So I might ditch the numbers, but you could reuse those again. They've got sort of a little bit of damage to them. Um, and the other thing, so I've got four things. Let's see how much I can stencil today, hey? Um, in the short time that we have together. But don't forget, at the end of our live, we always pick three winners to win some essential stencil products you can uh, win. But also, I wanted to remind you of the thrift store challenge this week. Here's the last thing that I found. It's just a little, I'm guessing it's for a plant pot because it has plastic lined on the inside of it. And so that is um, something fun that I thought could look great with a little kind of a farmhousey stencil type thing on the side. I'm yet to think about what I'm going to do on that. Uh, but today, I wanted to let you know a few things. There's lots going on this week and next week. So this week is the thrift store challenge. Next week, we'll be doing a dollar store challenge. So that is you'll find something from the dollar store that you can stencil on, use essential stencils, and you guys, you get to enter a competition. The link is at the top of this post and possibly being tagged at the top or pinned to the top of the comments and you'll find all of the details. You can click on that link. It'll take you through to the thrift store challenge uh, which is open this week and the dollar store challenge will be open next week to take entries and the entries don't close until the 8th of March. So you've got all that time to prepare your pieces, get them all going, uh, use essential stencils, and then post your pictures of your things up onto the little place where the link tells you to, to add them. And we get to vote on your, everyone can vote for each other's. Find your, tell your friends about it. Get them to vote for yours by just liking. Uh, so you just hit the little like button on those little pictures that you're going to be putting up there. And yep, essential stencils uh, put in, enter, the, enter to win, join the challenge for a chance to win free prizes. So there'll be, I think, three different prizes drawn on March the 8th for both of those competitions. So we're doing the thrift store challenge this week. And the other great thing about today's live is I'm actually using two different stencil sets and both of these stencil sets just until midnight will be 20% off in the essential stencil store. So if you don't want to miss out on these, these are the two sets I'll be using. They're 20% off plus another 10% if you use my iRestore stuff code. So that's actually 30% off these two stencil, st stencil sets. One of them is the five inch letter set. I'll be using that one today. And the other one, and I know it's not Christmas, but guess what? I'm not doing a Christmas stencil today, but I'm gonna use the Christmas set. So if you wanna grab the Christmas set, get onto that now, cause I don't know how many they have left in stock and you'll be way ahead for next Christmas, making signs and everything as well. Um, but this is the farmhouse Christmas set and there's three in the set and it has a bunch of things on it that you can not only use for Christmas, but for other occasions such as this one today. So I'll be really tricky and trying to combine some of those stencils to create some fun things on that today. All right, you got all that? So that's what's happening so far. Let's get started on one of our projects. We've got some comments. Bucky and Marty and oh, they're talking them. about Bucky and Marty already. Yes. Well, guys, next week, the dollar store challenge is going to be interesting right here in my time slot live because we're going to have Bucky and Marty doing a stencil off. You've heard Melissa maybe talk about it. And um, I, was, I jumped onto her live yesterday and Bucky was doing the camera work there. You know, he's answering comments and questions for them. I think he was just trying to get a few extra tips from Melissa's stenciling action there. And so he's trying to get ahead of the game. So um, it should be a whole lot of fun next week when we have both our husbands having a go at stenciling. Now I know that Bucky's done it before. I don't know that Marty has stenciled. He has done a little bit of painting, in fact. Um, Melissa mentioned this yesterday, but it was my 50th birthday last on Saturday. We had a family party here at the house in my workshop space, actually. And Marty had set up like a paint bar that you could come and paint a little piece of wood and just put some fun words that meaningful words about me, uh, you know, on these boards. Well, so I took a video because my nephew and Marty were both there painting boards and just just spouting off their expertise in furniture painting. So that video is on my page if you want to see that because they were quite funny acting like they knew exactly what they were doing and, um, and all about the products they were using and trying to pretend that they were on the live as me, I suppose. I don't know, it was pretty funny. 
So right now we're going to just start down here on this box. So this is the one we're working on today. Now, like I said, it was just this golden pine colour. I did scuff sand it back and I used Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint to just create a stain and a wash over there. And you can see that on my live from yesterday on my I Restore Stuff page. So we're using the Farmhouse Christmas collection set. Now that comes with three different. So yep, even though it's not Christmas anymore, we're going to use this fun word at the top, which says farmhouse on this particular one. There's also, if you've only just joined Essential Stencil and missed out on their Christmas kind of promotions and things, now's a great chance to actually get these. Um, they've got this one, which is, let me just put it against the back black background, because then you can see the sleigh rides, 50 cents, one mile, hot, co hot cocoa, warm blankets, jingle bells. There's that one. So, you know, you can use things like the one mile, the 50 cents, uh, some of those words down here we can use. Mm -hmm. There's also the farm fresh Christmas trees, which I love that, the spruce, pine, fir and cedar. You can use some of those words for not just uh, Christmas time, you can use them for other things. So what I would like to do for today's <coughs> live, and I'll try and put it on, is that forward enough mm -hmm. and in the shot enough so we can see that? So I want to use that farmhouse word and the lines. I'd like to continue those lines all the way around the base of the box there. And so I'm going to tape that down. What I've done is I've taped just the top part of the, the word or the letter C because I don't want my brush to get in there. I've also taped the top part of this holly leaf so that my brush won't uh, go on there while I'm stenciling it on. <clears throat> You're getting a lot of belated happy birthday. Oh, yeah. thank you for the happy birthday messages, you lovely people. You're always so kind. Amazing. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know if it's centred to this bottom panel, so the wood thing is... I'm just going to eyeball it, guys. That's how I roll. Yep. And yep. I just kind of want it so that I can tape down these edges a bit easier without that gap. It's kind of pine boards with a little groove in them, which I really love. So it just kind of lent to that farmhousey feel when I found the box, the uh, industrial kind of wood thing. All right, so I'm just going to use a, um, a smaller brush, a round Klingon brush, and I just usually just rubber band the tops of them to make my bristles a little bit firmer rather than long and flexible. <laughs> you guys are a hoot. I think the guys are going to be a hoot next week, I tell you. Yes. Should be a hoot. Week. Don't miss next week. Tell your friends. Invite them to the live. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so Marty's actually a video production guy. So he's, he does these live streams where you can put two people on at the same time. So we'll have Melissa and Bucky and then Marty and I here on this part of the screen. So you should be able to see both our faces at the same time. So... It's all going to be fun. <laughs> all right, so again, offload, offload, offload. That's the key. And I'm going to hold down this because the stencil is kind of bending here. It's sort of lifting up on these areas of where the words are. So I'm just going to put my finger down on here and get this. I'm doing a little swirling motion, but I've hardly got any paint on my brush and I don't get any bleeding underneath the stencil because I've got hardly any on my brush and I'm swirling it. So you would think, if you had a lot on your brush, swirling would actually push the paint underneath. Yeah, if you've got any questions, let us know. Why do you want to have the men in on it? Is, is, <laughs> Melissa, is Melissa on this live as well? Is she uh, watching? I just saw someone tagging her. Yeah. Yeah, Melissa and Bucky own a sawmill. Melissa's, um, what is that? Miller's Rustic Sawmill, I think is the name of their book. So we're just offloading again and I'm using just uh, one of the Fusion Mineral Paint colours which I use for furniture painting. This one's called Champlain. It's a really subtle off-white with tannish kind of creamy tones. Really lovely neutral colour. So with this you can either just keep it quite soft and weathered looking if you have just done one coat or you can go over with a second coat 
to get a nice sharp look. But because I'm kind of doing that rusticy look, I don't mind if it's a little bit faded in areas. Oh, thank you for the beautiful birthday messages, you lovely people. Yes, isn't this a cute thing from the thrift store? Hey, Melissa, we have got some surprises for our husbands, don't we? Because they're kind of going to be a little bit blindsided. They're not going to know exactly what they're stenciling until last minute. Are you going to blindfold them to do it? No, not blindfold them. Oh, that would be awesome. It would, but hey, Marty's never stenciled before. He's got to, <laughs> he's got to be able to see the see what he's doing. I'm sure. I think we should All right. blindfold Bucky. There we go. Let me see how this works out. Got that stuff stuck there. So there we go. There's our little farmhouse sign there mm. and now what I want to do so there you go isn't that cool now you could even just uh, lightly sand that back it's almost touch dry now because we hardly used any paint on there so there's no need to even worry about but we can sand that back to give it a little more rustic so I'm going to follow that line I'm going to have to stand up for this one I'm just going to follow that line around and I can use the bottom line here I could just continue using that well it would make sense to use the bottom one because actually that fits see the little bridge here so this line will fit right across without having to use that bridge. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to change these over. Again, this I'm using the Farmhouse Christmas collection. So if you have that one at home, you can use it. Or if you don't, it's on sale till midnight tonight, 20% off plus 10% using my coupon code iRestoreStuff. And um, yeah, grab a hold of that before not sure how many they've got left yeah. from Christmas, but it's a great idea to get your What's, what colour stain Christmas things ready for next. Okay, the colour stain that I used on this box was actually Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in the colour Typewriter, which is actually a black. But see, it doesn't really look black, does it? Now that is milk paint that's dried but hasn't got a sealer on top. So it is quite porous and chalky looking. Once I put a sealer on top, which I will show you later, once this is all finished, mm -hmm. I'll show you the sealer and how that'll really bring out the wood tones and then also the black um, will be a bit deeper mm -hmm. in colour. So painting away. And what's this the is super quick. Chalk paint and mineral paint? So uh, there is a bit of a difference. Actually, I've got a whole blog post on my site. If you look up what's the difference, um, in the search terms on my blog, irestorestuff.com, you'll find a whole entire blog post on the difference between chalk paint, milk paint, and mineral paints. Mm -hmm. And the main difference is that chalk paint has a porous surface or finish. I'm going to continue that line right around here. Now, in this case, I will have to use this little bridge here, so I might just put the bridge in the center. And I'm not too worried about the bridge still being there. You could fill it in. So the difference is that chalk paint has a porous finish, whereas uh, fusion mineral paint has a built-in top coat. So with chalk paint and milk paint, you do need to seal them. So like I said before, I'll be sealing this milk paint. Now, here's where I have to make sure I'm actually going straight so that when I do the finished line, it's going to all meet up in the end yeah so that's the main difference I hope I explained that well I restore stuff couldn't find me how, how? somebody said they couldn't find me my blog is at irestorestuff.com and you, uh, we've tagged my page I restore stuff at the top of the description here on the live Oops, my little S is really close there, so I'm just going to tape that off. See how you need to just tape the words that are close to where you're stenciling if you don't want those other words or images in your stencil. Yeah, you can find me, I Restore Stuff on Instagram, all of those different social medias. It's just I Restore Stuff because that's what I do. Mainly I paint furniture, take old things that are old, kind of like we're doing with this thrift store challenge and I paint them up and make them all new again. It's really actually quite satisfying. All right, so there we've got the other line. I'm gonna keep going all the way around. You could add some more little words and things here on this. Let's see if we can get that last line straight. This is, to, this is telling. 
Oh, guys, I think I did it. Yeah, it matches. So I, I must have kept it pretty straight all the way around. So uh, give me a little wave or a little shout. Let me know, yes, I have done that. I have entered the challenge. If you've um, actually done that already and gone and um, entered your item, your thrift store item in the challenge. Okay, I will let you know. Just I'm just going to share this to my I Restore Stuff page because I forgot to do that. I usually like to share it to my page as soon as I jump on so that my people will all go, oh yeah, that's right, Sharon's live. Yep. And post that there. And Essential Stencil also put the link up for your page. Which is really great. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Essential has put my link in there. Um, Melissa says, I keep telling Bucky that blind... blindfolded. <laughs> blindfolded, huh? Now that would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, that's yes. funny. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the, the special, for that person asking about the special for today, it's the uh, Essential Stencils Christmas Collection, uh, Farmhouse Christmas set. That was part of their Christmas selection and they do still have some Christmas stock left. So these are all things that are on that, which can be really handy for other projects, as you say, because I'm not doing, as you see, I'm not doing a Christmas stencil. And then I'm going to be using the five inch letters right here. They're huge, they're really lovely big size. I'll be using those in just a minute and show you how to do that. Those are all 20% off till midnight, plus get another 10% off, so 30% altogether. If you use my code, I restore stuff at the checkout. And there's, a few and there's links at the top in the description. If you jump on those links, you'll be able to find them. She paint on fabric, can she paint it with acrylic? Yes, you can paint anything with acrylic paints. You can do any of these stencils with that. I'm just going to move my stencil slightly over because I'm catching that bridge right there at the end. And if you get a varnish piece like this, yep. do you need to sand it before Before you stain it. SFO? Yes, so stain and finishing oil. So mm. if you do get a varnished piece, like this was golden pine, it was varnished, it is best to sand it right back to the raw wood before you use a stain and finishing oil though I didn't. So don't always do what I say, do what I say, not what I do. But it worked still. It still worked. I had a little bit of varnish still left on there, but it did take the stain, the milk paint stain took pretty well. So there you go. Isn't that a nice little finish for a Kleenex or tissue box cover? I really like how that turned out. So in a little minute, I'm going to show you how I seal that and it'll really make that timbers pop, the wood pop and all that kind of thing. All right. There are the people who yep. have got their thrift store things and like Vicky and oh, good on you guys. You got your thrift store things ready to go. Ready. Don't forget to use your essential stencils on them so that you can right. enter them into the competition. There's prizes there, right. and don't forget at the end of our live today, we're going to give away some prizes too. Essential stencil are seriously generous with their prize prize giving. Yeah. It's and a lot of fun. Dana, mm -hmm. Dana, Dana. Said, I found a few thrift store items, but I'm having a hard time finding stencils to fit them. So, ah. Yeah, good that you're showing them how to. Yeah, so bits. you can use little bits of stencils instead of using a whole stencil. Uh, let me see. What was I was I was going to do something on this, trying to figure out what I can do on this little bag. It looks like a, a pot bag because it's plastic lined. I picked up this at the thrift store. And I want to stencil something on that. And I'm thinking because it's a pot, I'm going to use this stencil here that says Farm Fresh. And it's also got the name of some trees along here. So I'm thinking maybe just use the word cedar and pop that on here. So let's have a go at that one. I love it. I'm just going to pop my brush into a little bit of a plastic bag so that it doesn't dry out because I might want to use that cream colour for another, oops, for another stencil project in a minute and I might use a darker color so I'm going to use some black fusion mineral paint black yeah Beth says On she's this. got an old roller skating box an old no roller skating box Beth yeah well I'm doing a box in a second and there's some fun th fun ideas that we'll show you there now why have I got this it's just an empty container but you know, if you're trying to stencil on a bag, just show this down here, it's mm. going to get a little bit squashed. So what I'm going to do is add this 
and I'm going to, it's still not really quite tight enough, so I'm going to pack it with a cloth towel. Just make it really tight in there. So here's a tip if you're stenciling something like this that's a little bit hard to, and awkward to stencil on, now I've got a bit better of a surface to be able to stencil. I hope that was a top tip for somebody who's got a thrift store find looking like this. All right, I'm going to use Farm Fresh on one side and then I'll do some words on another side. So we'll do, actually, I'll shift my, I'm going to put my tape over here because I'll just use, I'm going to put Farm and Fresh on top of each other. So Farm up here, Fresh down below. And again, I think this, you know, sometimes you pick up things at thrift stores and you have no idea what they were used for or what they're supposed to be. But because this has a plastic liner, I figured it must be for a plant pot. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Do you have to, to set fusion mm -hmm. on materials, fabric? Um, if you're going to wash the fabric, so if it's a t-shirt or something like that, I would, or a tea towel, mm -hmm. I would, uh, someone's asked about heat setting them. Yes, I would heat set it, just turn it over and iron the back of it with a dry iron, not a steam iron, take the steam setting off. But because this one is on um, Hessian with a plastic backing, I'm not going to heat set it, I'm just going to let it just go for it. <laughs> and um, I assume that it will be fine because I don't plan on getting water on it. Plus, Fusion does dry. Believe me, I've got paint on my shorts and clothing, my paint pants, that does not come off in the washing. Dawn <laughs> says, is that a canvas bag? It's uh, burlap. It's like burlap on the outside and then it's plastic on the inside. So... The canvas would be fun to yes, do. Yes, canvas would be fun to do. So there's another idea and I think Amanda showed this on her live, how you can just grab an ordinary canvas from the thrift store that's got a piece of artwork on it and you could either leave the artwork on there and stencil some beautiful word across it in a dark, you know, opposing mm. colour. Look at that. Farm. Mm. I'm going to put the word fresh underneath. Or you could just paint over, completely paint over the canvas and you have a whole new fresh canvas to start with. So that's a fun idea for some of you who might be looking, trying to think of ideas for your thrift store challenge. I'm excited to see how many of you are actually enjoying and doing the Thrift Store Challenge. Let me turn that around to that side, that way, so you can see. So we've got Farm Fresh on here. And Vicky, who came late, is like, is this your Thrift Store project? Yes, Vicky, this is my Thrift Store project. We're doing the Thrift Store Challenge this week. And I've actually got about four different pieces. I've just finished doing this tissue box here, box cover. And now I'm onto a little burlap bag that has a plastic lining, so I assume it's for a pot. And I've just stuffed it with a large container so that it's not going to bend and, you know, squash in as I'm trying to stencil it. Gives it a, a hard surface to work on. I'd love to hear what some of the thrift store finds that people are finding to stencil on today. Mm. Next I think I'll be working on this seagrass basket here and showing you because some people have said isn't that hard to stencil on? Oh uh, yeah. yeah but we're just going to give it a go. I like that. <laughs> Are you going to stencil on the white or the dark part? I'm going to stencil on the white part. Ah. All right so there we've got farm fresh on this side. Isn't that cute? It just kind of makes the the bag look a little bit different. And then I think I'm going to turn this over on the reverse side. Actually, that cloth there is really good. I've just stuffed it with a container and a towel to make that firm surface so that I can stencil on it. And you could actually add all of these, spruce, pine, fir, cedar. For right now, I'm just going to add the word cedar and a couple of the lines around it. Now, normally, I would hold this down with some tape, but... I'm just not gonna. I'm living on the edge, people. Yes. <laughs> oh, Vicky said she's doing a toolbox. That's her thrift store thing. Okay, so Vicky, you're thing. doing a toolbox. What other, other ones have we got going on? Um, and just by the way, Stephanie says she's stuck on her project because she needs fusion paint and pink. 
Couldn't you take white and add a red? Touch yes, of red? you can take white and add red if you have those. Yeah. Where are you from? That might. Stephanie. So Anne. maybe can she not get the pink or? Yeah. Maybe it's like maybe that. the local stockist is out. You can go onto fusionmineralpaint.com and find online retailers. All right, I think I'm going to add a little bit of these lines, just separate that a little bit there. And, but I'm just going to fade them out. So I'm just going to do, see if that works. Not sure how this is going to work, guys. But you know me, if you've watched me a few times, I just kind of wing it as we go and see what does work. Does the thrift stores challenge um, include curbside finds? Yes, guys, if you have, even if you have something in your house that you are going to take to the thrift store. So if it's something that you would find in a thrift store, you are so welcome to use that Instead of dumping it, hey, repurpose it, guys. Great idea. Uh, Stephanie said her local store is out of pink. All oh, right, so yeah, try and find an online store and they can probably ship it to you. All right, so see that? I've just got the word cedar there. So this way, I mean, it's on the back side, or you can leave it just as a simple little minimalist kind of look with that cedar on that side and farm fresh on this side. You can even add some of the pine, a pine tree could even add that over here, couldn't we? Let's yeah. do that. I like that. Add the little tree. Why not? And I could do it green, but I'm just going to do it black. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was meant to be there, Brittany says. Yes. Um, so, one lady and I did add a couple of lines. The lines turned out really faint, but they still work. Okay, let me see if I can get this tree in the center. Yeah. And once again, I'm just going to tape off the side tree because I just want one tree. Debbie said she's got an old milk can she's going to stencil on. Oh, Debbie's going to stencil on an old milk can. That sounds great. Somebody else said... I love those old milk cans. Oh, a clipboard with three clips. Ah. Clipboards. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. Enter them in to the challenge. Now, the links and everything, all the details are in the link in the description of this live. Mm. Just going to tap that a bit there. Instead of swir uh, tap it and then swirl. Love the tree. Smooshing it in. Add the tree comments. Yep, we're adding the tree, guys. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Does it look too Christmassy? I don't know. But hey, you could use that side for Christmas if you wanted. Flip it around. Got your little pot plant in here. I'll just pop this out now. Store your eggs in it on the You bench. could. Fresh, farm fresh eggs. Store your eggs in there on the bench. You could even, you could do all sorts of fun things with that, couldn't you? Yeah. So that, they are from the... Christmas farmhouse, Christmas set. And again, like I love this one, one mile. You could do farm fresh, one mile. You could add that onto the side. Ooh. Or cedar, one mile. Um, 50 cents, cedar, I don't know. All sorts of fun ideas you can do with the Christmas stencil set. So if you didn't, if you didn't get these at Christmas time, now's a good chance because 20% off till midnight tonight only. And as well as these, 20% off plus. So I really should be saying 30% off because you're going to use my code, I restore stuff at the checkout and that'll get you an extra 10% off because, and while you're ordering other things, all the other things in the store will be 10% off because you're using my code. So that's that. So we've got two little projects here done. Let's try this seagrass basket. So all I did was I taped around the top here and painted the base, which it was all this color. I just painted the base with this creamy off-white champlain color. And now I've decided I'm gonna use these letters, but what I'm gonna do is use these, I thought numbers are fun to put on the basket, but what better than using Roman numerals, hey? What about that? So I'm going to do Roman numerals and I don't know about you, sometimes I like to find fun numbers that have some meaning and some significance to our family or our life. So we've got, there are six people in my family. Marty and I have four children, well I call them children but they're all adults now. So, well all except one still a teenager four. and we're hanging on to that aren't we, hey? Where's all my empty nest people? <laughs> two of them have flown the coop, I've got two left at home. So we're going to do this, oops, um, yes. we're going to do this in Roman numerals. So five, no, V and an I make six, correct? That's right. Am I right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to do a V and an I. So the deal is trying to get these centered. Now the other thing is that some people are trying to figure out, oh, which way does that V go? Does it go this way or does it go that way? So the heavy side always goes, to, well, it doesn't always because the A, the heavy side is on the right, but... 
essential stencil has a little alphabet on the front of their package. So if, if in doubt, guys, just always refer to the front of the package. So see the V has the heavy side weighted on the, is that your left? Yes. The left. So we're going to do that here. And so the number six is because there's six people in our family. So I won't do these at the same time because we've got a bit of a gap here that I need to cross over. But I do kind of want to get them centered because this, if this didn't have handles, it wouldn't be a problem. But because it has handles here, I'm just going to move the V slightly to that side so that the I can go on here. And I think that should be centered. So we're going to try our best <clears throat> to tape this down. I think it's right. Yeah. We just have to One lady said she just saw tape on. Ah. Yeah, think? so you could give it a go, I say. If the tray has an underneath section, you could always try on the underneath. Yeah. This is seagrass, so it's a little bit different than wicker, but I think I have stenciled on wicker before too, and it's it works. Now I'll show you the trick though. I did some jute, that's what I did, jute placemats and I think I did them on a live back mm. before Christmas time. I yes. used some of Essentials Christmas stencils. Oh, so if you look back through some of the videos there you'll be able to see that one. All right, mm. sticking is not so great. We do have, it is a weird curvy surface, curvy surface. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit of a trick to try and, and a challenge. Now for this purpose I'm not going to offload. <gasps> So <laughs> I've got a little bit from the lid and what I'm going to do, because there's such a huge surface in the middle here, I'm just using black. Oh, I was going to use grey. Now I'll use that on something else. But because I've got a huge surface here, I'm going to go with the centre and I'm offloading in the centre. So really I kind of am offloading. I'm offloading in the centre and just kind of smushing it all in there so that when I get to the edges, and I'm going to just have to do one edge first. This is really tricky, hey. And I'm just going to pounce this time instead of swirling because we've got all those knobbly bits, the technical term, in the seagrass or on the wicker or whatever you're doing. And we love the idea and we're of wiggling. how to check which way the letters go. Yes. A couple of people going, yep, had some oopses. Yeah. It kind of just doesn't quite look right when you're finished sometimes. So it's no. always good to oh, no. check. <laughs> so I kind of am offloading but in the centre of this project and I haven't even put any more paint in my brush yet. I'm grabbing some more from that centre part where it's more thick and I'm being so careful to hold down this because my tape's not working and you just kind of work your way along and smoosh. See I'm just doing little wriggle movements and wriggling that into the seagrass. Mm -hmm. What would you use this basket for? You could use it for towels. I'd love to hear some of your ideas in the comments. Mm -hmm. Firewood. Christina says that doesn't look easy. Hard. Yeah, it is just a little bit tricky trying to hold, hold the piece really still. I'm getting a little ache in my hand here, <laughs> trying to hold it still. Uh, but have I dipped? I don't think I've dipped my paint back in the, in the paint yet. So there really is quite a bit of, I've offloaded in the centre here, so I'm just kind of moving that off. And guys, it doesn't have to be solid, solid black. I mean, I'm using a black paint, but you can just let it be a little bit faded and worn looking. It's not going to matter too much. It'll all add to that vintagey kind of vibe. Mm. All right, let's see how we went there. Not too bad, hey? Yeah, so there's the V. And now I'll do the eye, you know. Magazines, yes, and I mean, you could, yeah. And if you wanted it as a toy box, you could add the word toys around here in the, yeah. in the lettering. Um, let's see if we can, I'll try and use these again, but. Doggy toy box, yes, I love that. Oh yes, doggy toy box, I there's an option. So Roman numerals, it's always an option here, guys, for Socks. these. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone has a sock basket. That's a fun idea. Veggies from the garden. Yeah. All right. Trying to stick this down again as best we can. Yep. All right, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in there again. 
and I'm going to offload in the center where there's a whole bunch of space. So you don't want to be you don't want to be not offloading on those edges because um, that will kind of bleed through underneath. So I'm just working my way out from the center, getting all that paint offloaded into there, and really easy then to just go over around the edges. And I'm doing this kind of motion, putting it in, smushing it round, putting it in, smushing it round, because you're kind of trying to get into the grooves of the wicker basket or the seagrass as this is mm. or the jute or whatever you're trying to stencil on so yeah it might be a little bit challenging but where there's a will there's a way I say yes. <laughs> so I hope you can find some fun thrift store challenge ideas in your charity stores nearby if you're from Australia give me a shout out do you love op shopping that's what I love op shopping and sometimes on my Instagram I'll do stories just op shop I restore op shop finds and I'll go around and say all the different things that you could find in op shops or thrift stores that you could paint or upcycle and do fun things on so don't forget to enter the thrift store challenge so there's the eye so how's that look from there you're seeing it before I am the real the real deal I um, love the smushing Yes, you kind of got a smush to get into those little areas there. And they're all gone looking for the basket. Yeah, all isn't that great? So just yeah. basically taped all the way around that. You can see my live on my page, I Restore Stuff, yesterday to show you how I did the, the um, painting. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this one and the tissue box. And there's one other one I just wanted to show you real quick. We won't hang around on it too much on my little box. Yeah. So this is the other thing. If you've just joined us, this is the other find, other find that I found in my local thrift store. And it's a toy box. I'm guessing it was a toy box. It had these numbers glued to the side. Let me just show you those. And they had these little numbers glued to the side and they're kind of just MDF numbers. They were looking a little bit ratty. So I just got a, a scraper and I hammered that down in the back of it to remove them. Then I had to sand away the sand away the paint there, the glue, yep. And um, I'm gonna use a beautiful dark gray color on this. And it's called Ash. It's another fusion mineral paint color. And if you're in Australia, you can get fusion mineral paint in my online shop. And Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. And the Klingon brushes. You can grab those there. So don't forget, we've got 20% off these stencil sets that I'm using today um, is that can you see if I've got that flat like that in the camera <laughs> so I think we can so this is what it looks like before you can see the base of it there and I'm just I'm just going to be using again the five inch letter set so that's the one there it's the five inch letter set and it is going to be um, it is now 20% off plus 10% so that's 30% off till midnight tonight using my code I restore stuff so we're gonna we can take these down eyeballing about center again if you're unsure if you missed that tip if you're unsure which way the A goes which side the the heavier weight goes just check your stencil packaging right here and you can see that the A goes this way so we're popping it on there and just want to use my tape why not just reuse what I've got here and lining it up in around about the center. Celia's just gone to wash those off for me, which is a brilliant idea. Sometimes I, I let, as you can see by some of these, I just, if the fusion paint dries too quickly, I just leave it there. But a lot of people ask, do you clean your stencils? Well, if I can, I can. If I can't, I don't worry about it. So you just can wipe them down quite easily <clears throat> with a wet cloth if you're doing it straight away. <coughs> Some people use baby wipes, another good idea. All right, but you just do need to be careful of the little bridges which are very fragile. So when you're kind of wiping, just be really careful to hold both pieces, wiping the edges. Okay, I'm gonna use this color, it's called Ash by Fusion. So I do have some links in a supply list somewhere. I'm not sure if that's posted yet. 
or not, but all of the links to all of the things I'm using today will be there. Okay, I don't know if you saw that. I'm offloading, yes, you can see that. So I'm offloading the brush on the side of the rim and then I'm offloading onto the paper here. And again, I use just round furniture painting brushes and I just rubber band the end so that the bristles are a little bit tighter. And now I've got my placement all ready and this is just a beautiful flat surface to work on. So sometimes when I'm stenciling on furniture, I'll even flip the furniture on its back so that I can be really firm with the stencil and lay it down. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this is offloaded enough so that I'm not getting any bleed underneath there. Again, we could have started with the real heavy wide side. But just remember um, there are two sets of letters with essential stencil. Oh yeah, so just remember that there are two sets of letters with essential stencil. There's a three inch set, I believe, and a five, three and a half inch and a five inch. Yes. Today, the one that's on sale for 20% off plus my 10% off, so 30% off is the five inch letter stencils. So that's the larger ones of the two. They are great for the toy boxes and the baskets and all of those great things. You could even make some vertical porch signs with these large letters. Um, use and just creating your own words on vertical porch signs. So they're so versatile, so handy to use. So you could do, say, somebody's na like initial, first initial of your child's name, all sorts of fun things. You can create a toy box for your kids. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's the A in the color ash. So it's this beautiful pale blue mixed with the ash, which is a really charcoaly dark gray. And I'm just going to continue around this box using ABCD. And, and how do people get the brush that you're using? So people can find the Klingon brushes on um, the list. That, uh, there's a supply list that may or may not be there right now, but I'll make sure we can edit the description at the top and we can pop it in there for you. But um, what was I going to say? Can't remember. Don't forget, next week is going to be a hilarious live with... <laughs> Melissa's husband Bucky and my husband Marty going head to head in a stencil off. I'm going to bring popcorn. Right, <laughs> Celia says she's going to bring popcorn. <laughs> so bring your popcorn next week, people. It could be, could be interesting as we set the guys on a stenciling challenge. Marty's, I don't think he has ever stenciled before. No. But, but he's I, got skills. He he's does have some skills. skills. Let's just see if the skills lie in the creative painting area. Um, yeah, it could be interesting. That's not upside down, <laughs> somebody said, that letter. Oh gosh, please tell me, is it not upside down? Yes. It is upside down? Mm -hmm. Oh, ah. it is. Let's see. Small B, big B. You just have to flip Yeah, I know, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me see if I can flip it, because, is that going to be the right way now? Yes. So I might just have to clean that off. Good catch. Yes. Let me see if it will. Score. Who caught that? Um, was that one of my viewers? Kathy? Yes, it wasn't me. Oh, look, guys, it'll work. <gasps> Kathy. Oh, Good my goodness. Course. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. I think she's already a prize winner right now, Celia. She has to be. <laughs> she has to be. <laughs> Kathy, just letting you know, you're winning a prize today. We haven't even announced the prize winners yet, but we'll write your name down. That was a great catch. Saved my day. Now, I don't want that, that to get on here, but I think it's dry enough where it won't. I'm just going to risk it, guys. Kathy, you're a lifesaver. I hate making little mistakes like that. Celia, thank you so much for, for reading Kathy's comment at that moment. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. You look all good. She's a legend. Okay, and it works. Look, I just got that far in. So, like, because I wasn't all the way in, it's going to work. Okay. Now, resuming. Now, did you see how Kathy could tell that? Because there's a smaller, this is a, the top part of the bee is actually shorter than the bottom part of the V. And if I had checked my little guide here on the stencil packet, I would have seen that too. Thank you, Kathy. I think actually Rebecca might have got in first. Oh, I oh no. See it. Sorry, Rebecca. Whoops, Rebecca might have got in first. Sorry. Oh, did Rebecca win a prize the other week? Guys, are you loving your prizes? Yeah. I'm so glad that so many of you are winning prizes each week. Oh, 
All right, guys, we have our bee. Oops. Okay, so we have a little error, and what I'm going to do with that little mark right there in the B, which I thought we were good, but we weren't, is because there's a little bit of a bigger distance here than this one here. So I'll just get a little bit, a paintbrush, and paint this blue colour right over the top of that, and it'll, it'll be beautiful. We won't have to worry about that. So now we've got our toy box all good and started. So guys, you can see what, where I'm going with this, so I won't worry about doing the rest right now. I'll just show you these put all our live stuff together so you can get a good idea while Celia goes through to pick names for our winners for today. And I grab a, a, um, a quick water. Okay, so if you've just joined us and you missed the start, here's what we're doing. We're doing a thrift store challenge and I've done a tissue box holder that was just um, from the thrift store. It was a golden pine color sanded it back, stained it with some black milk paint, added the farmhouse across here and the stripe going all the way around for a little bit of a farmhousey look. Mm -hmm. And that was from this stencil set here, the Christmassy stencil set, which is, don't forget, any stencils that I'm using today are 20, 30% off if you use my coupon code in the shop. So that's the Christmas mm -hmm. collection, what, what did I say, farmhouse Christmas set. We used that on the tissue box and also on this little pot holder burlap kind of looking pot thingy. And I did a little cedar on the back and that is also from the Christmas set that you'll find. So grab those in the store today and get them for 20% off plus 10%. So that's 30% off. We also did this seagrass basket that I found in my thrift store. Oh, thank you for all the hearts, guys. You are awesome. And I have taped off here, added some paint to the base, and I've added Roman numeral 5i, no, vi, from the letter set, the same letter set that I used for the box here. And the, that's the five inch letter. So you click on the five inch one, it'll have a big red flag saying 20% off till midnight when you go to the essential stencil shop. And you add my coupon code, I restore stuff, and you will get a further 10% off. So that's some great deals on that today. I picked the number six because there's six people in my family. So um, you can do any of those kind of things. I hope that's given you some fun ideas today for your thrift store challenge that you are going to enter in this week, aren't you guys? Um, so Celia, how are we going with those names? Um, just to make sure Oops. it's actually really fair, we're going to people who noticed your mistake. Oh, aren't we? Well, so, lovely, I lovely. <laughs> Hang on a second, I'll just get my head oh, in the yeah. shot. <clears throat> All right, so our names for winners today, guys, are Kathy Humphreys Lowry yes. and Rebecca Turner yes. and Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. To see the to get her oh, we haven't got your last name, Tammy, but we will find you. Celia will help me look for you yeah. later and tag you. In those, so those three people who are winners today, could you please email essential stencil at support. no support at essential stencil dot com, mm. and you will be able to claim your prize. So thank you for those people, and I'm so glad that you could join me today. If you want to see any of the prepping that I did for these pieces before I did today's live, they're over on my page, I Restore Stuff, which is tagged here at the top. I'd love to see you over there too. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I think, oh, don't forget, join us next week. Yeah. So um, Bucky and Marty, so Melissa's husband, Bucky, and my husband, Marty, are going head to head in the dollar store challenge. And we have some fun tricks up our sleeve for that. So we'll join you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.